Hello and welcome to uh, Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man and uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're gonna go to the end uh, but first I'm gonna show some of the stuff I've uh, done in the meantime so I made the island a little bit bigger uh, I've put in a few more minions uh, here and there I have chests for days uh, just lots of materials that I've I, I, can't, I just can't seem to let go of uh, we got, uh, let's see here, what do we got in here? I've been storing up some, uh, blaze powder and another, uh, another work for, uh, doing some alchemy stuff. Uh, but we got a lot of, uh, got a lot of, uh, minions going. And they're all pretty high level, so we're at, uh, what are we at? 16 minions now. So that's pretty good. Uh, we only have 230 in our bank, which is, uh, kind of terrible. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to do this video because in seven hours uh, a new mayor gets elected and he doubles the HP of all the mobs and that's going to make us uh, probably unable to kill mobs in the end honestly. Uh, we, we're still using the raider's axe. I didn't even get the right uh, uh, reforge on it yet but uh, I did farm up a full si set of glacite armor. Uh, it took me quite a while actually to do that. Uh let's see here. Where's that under? It's under skills, combat, bestiary. That's how you get to it. Deep caverns, ice walkers. I killed 2,600 of them to uh, be able to get the uh, the full set. I did get a few duplicates here and there, uh, and I think I sold all those to a vendor just to uh, get that going. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's go to the end and uh, check it out. So to get to the end, you got to go back to the main uh, hub. Uh, and go through the graveyard. I don't have any teleporters. Obviously, I could teleport directly there using the other uh, methods uh, and visiting the different places, but uh, just for showing it here. So you go through here, go through the graveyard for the zombies, go off to Spider Island. I wanted to farm some spiders, but uh, I don't know. I never got around to it. I got down to the bottom, and I did find out where you the, ki the kill a keeper. I did find the, where they spawn, it's at the very bottom of that, uh, one of these holes, <laughs> at the very bottom, but, uh, here we go, this is the teleporter to the end, let's go ahead and go. And our first time here, and, uh, so, my first time here on this character, I've been here on another one. So let's kind of look around. Uh, so there's a vendor over here. You can go over here and talk to him. You've reached the end, though this is only the beginning. I am the Pearl Dealer. You are on dangerous ground. Be careful using Ender Pearls on the island. The energy attracts Endermen. The end also has many resources, including End Stone and Obsidian. The deeper you go, the stranger things you'll find. Items in my shop may be of help to you and to descend the depths. All right. The end is endless in stone, and you may find a special type of resources to help the deep of the caves. Have you tried running the end race yet? Talk to Goober and learn more. He's just up the staircase over there. All right, I guess uh, he's not going to do anything else. All right, uh, so they sell this book here in uh, Dragon Hunter 1 for a million coins. <laughs> Uh, Inslayer 6 for 1.5 million coins, Endstone for 10 coins each, Obsidian for 50 coins, um, not sure what this stuff is, it doesn't let me, uh, see what they are, and you can't, uh, you can't view them inside there, but, uh, there we go, so let's get, uh, oh, there's a guy right here, we want to talk to him first, so, we're, the Endermen are not aggressive until you look at them, just like normal Minecraft, so, uh, the Lone Adventurer. Exhausted me. No, no, no. I'm just taking a break. The end is a creepy place, but you'll get used to it. If you want a piece of advice, you should start by killing Endermen up here. They sometimes drop important gear like armor I'm wearing. Are you strong enough, though? Try killing five of them. All right, so this is the first quest. We need to kill five Endermen. Uh, from what I remember, they don't assist, so... There we go. We got one down. So, not too bad. Uh, 
They're not... We can't one-shot them yet. Ooh. That one actually hurt us. So let's try uh, this one. Yeah, not too bad. It's going to be a grind. And especially, uh, these will have like 8,000 HP. <laughs> Uh, very soon. So we got some ender pearls finally. Uh, that's nice. All right, let's talk to him. All right, not bad, not bad. Took me a while to get that strong. I use a void sword. It is a very powerful weapon. It gets stronger with each piece of ender armor you're wearing. I have an extremely strong emotional attachment to this item. I'm willing to sell it to you for the sum of 200,000 coins. So I'm going to pass on it for now. We have to eventually buy it from him. Uh, but I'm going to pass on it. I don't know the stats on it. Uh, I'm sure. So. If you change your mind, you can also go talk to Rusty in the gold mine. There we go. And he sells distracted sometimes looser items. The void sword sells the back. All right. You should be focusing on getting all eight pieces of ender armor now. Half of them are dropped by the Enderman on this layer. The other pieces are harder to obtain. I'm sure you'll figure out, figure it out. My time here is over. I think I'll go down to the Dragon's Nest very soon. See you around. All right, we need to find a full set of armor and then we can talk to him again. So finding a full set of armor involves killing probably about 2,500 to uh, three. 3,000, 5,000 of these Endermen. Oh, well, speak of the, uh, the thing right there. We got, uh, Ender Leggings, uh, 50 HP, 100 defense, and then the stats are doubled here in the end. Uh, so that is what, it's hard to tell what the base stats of these actually are, but these are more, the gear I'm wearing is more for mining, uh, because that is what I've been focusing on. Jeez, we got boots too. All right. I swear I'm not uh, I'm not gaming the system here, but let's keep killing these. Uh, we should be able to get the full set of the visuals plus uh, I think one accessory up here. There we got Enderman one. Oh jeez, that was that was hurtful. So some of these, you know, we just don't have the power yet. And we'll just have to do this for quite a while. And, uh, whatnot. So let's kind of look around. Alright. So let's get our pickaxe. I've upgraded to a fruitful mithril pickaxe. Um, I made a, pat a bad decision there. I should have stayed with the, uh, damaged one or whatever the first one you get is. I'd, uh, I went ahead and upgraded it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Didn't even expect that. Oh, my gosh. Endermites. Uh, yeah, they're here. They're painful. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, what I'm trying to get to is this glowing block right here. Alright, we got... An Ender Node, which gave us two grand experience bottles. And those are kind of what you want to look for when you're mining here. The glowing ones like this one. They give uh, extra items sometimes. I don't know exactly the mechanics. Uh, but uh, here's one right here. We got five enchanted ender pearl, which is uh, quite a bit of, you know what I mean? So you could just literally go through here and look for those blocks. And the deeper you go down, right? I think we looked at one of them, didn't we? Uh, the deeper you go down, they have more hit points. These ones have 4,500. The next tier we're down was 600, or 6,000. Uh, so you gotta be, you gotta be careful there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's another one right here. Ooh, and we died. <laughs> we lost uh, 500 coins. Uh, did we lose anything from that thing? I don't know. So, jeez, lagged. 
Uh, whoa, they're still after us. Gosh, all right. That gave us uh, enchanted in stone and some might gel. Kind of cool. Yeah, so definitely that is uh, kind of where you want to go. Like normally, you just mine them like this, you know. Let me heal real quick, and this will get us Ender Stone. And you can see we already got since we got those enchanted blocks, it kind of ranked us up pretty quick. And uh, so it's so I have mining sacks now. Uh, because of where I'm, I've been mining in the dwarven caves, but uh, where is instone? Here we go, instone, and it just goes in there. I can stack a uh, 20k of it in that uh, bag, but definitely, uh, definitely useful. All right, so that's instone. These are ender nodes. Those are ender mites. Uh, what else did we? Uh, what else is there here? Endermen. Uh, there's more of them down there. Those ones are the big ones. 6,000. They're getting even bigger up into the really huge range. If we look over the edge here. Way down there is a portal to, uh, uh, to the, uh, dragon area. Let's go ahead and kind of sneak our way down there. Oh, I put feather falling on my boots. So, we should be able to get down here. I don't think these ones are aggressive yet. Alright. Let's just keep going. Don't want to look at them. These ones have 9,000. Because <laughs> that'll definitely kill us. Uh, somewhere down here, there is a uh, portal to a different area. I just can't exactly remember where. Maybe it's this way. But it's a pretty big little zone here for uh, this, and just, just unlimited endermen to kill. This looks like it goes down more. There's a bigger area over here. There we go, that looks different. There we go, yeah. Here is the uh, Void Sepicure, Sepicar, whatever. Uh, that takes us into a harder area where there is a Voidling right there with 8 million. <laughs> HP. So it's a definite, uh, definite increase. There is also some dragon nests somewhere around here. That's the other teleporter I'm looking for. I don't know if it's through that other one or not. I, I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, that looks different. I don't know what that is, but that was cool. All right. Oh, here we go. The Dragon's Nest. This is where the Ender Dragons get summoned. You can see, uh... There's lots of higher level stuff here. Let's see if I can... Yeah, so there's the 1300 or 13,000 HP. Oh, shoot. Run, 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 run. That guy saw us. And he's gonna mess us up pretty quick. Um, but yeah, so this is the end. Uh, there's lots of grinding we're gonna have to do here and make our way through it, right? Um, I'm trying to find the way up out of here. But, uh, it's fairly nice in the sense that it's like, it's not aggressive mobs, right? Like, uh, getting down the spider area is quite difficult. Oh, we got the Zealot Bruiser hideout. Found there. These ones are the 6,000 HP ones. Let's keep going up. And we should eventually get back to the front. 4,500, I believe we're at the top. Yes, we are. And there you go. That is that is like all the different types you can find here. <laughs> it's like crazy. But these little, these nodes here. Oh. Probably gonna die again, jeez. Yeah. I don't even know how I'm gonna supposed to kill these. This is uh 
think they're more difficult because they're harder to hit. So, that is... There we go. But, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, probably grind some of these for a little while, a little bit. Um, I've been spending most of my time in, uh, what's it called? Crystal Hollows? Yeah, Crystal Hollows. I've been going there. Uh, and holy crap, it is so much better for mining in the Crystal Hollows. I'm, that's gonna probably be my next video. Uh, is how, what, how awesome that place is because it. I've been, I've been going around to every little mine area and doing certain materials. Crystal Hollows changes all of that and makes it uh, way easier. So, definitely, uh, definitely the next video is probably going to be that. I'm considering making a sugarcane farm, uh, but I don't think I'll make a video on that since it's just literally putting sugarcane down and running to break it. I right, got another enchanted ender pearl. This is going to be risky. Ooh, we got enchanted in stone. Let's heal up. Let's see what we get from this one. More experience bottles. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Oh! Death mites. <laughs> I'm going to start calling them death mites. I'm, whoa! Holy crap. Can I, uh... Oh, there's like five of them. Look at that. Ah! Alright. I'm going to run away from these things. All right, so that's the end, and uh, it's going to be the next area we need to tackle. Uh, there's, uh, so for the end here, let me show, where's the other inventory? Right here. So there is, you know, the four, the four main armor slots, but then there's accessories. There's four accessories, and then there is a sword we want to make, and that, that's kind of like our goal here. Um... Let me see here if I can find that recipe real quick. Recipe book. Combat recipes? No. Special recipes? Uh, I don't even know what it would be under. Slayer recipes? Yeah, here it is. Aspect of the end. Um... It's this one, not that one, whatever that one was. Uh, this is the this is the item we want to make. Is It's a new sword. It's 100 damage, 100 strength, but it gives you the ability to teleport forward 8 blocks and gain 50 speed. So this will replace our uh, rogue sword for sure because this you know gives us the 100 speed, but this will teleport us forward, so it kind of works better. Um, this is going to require enchanted eyes of ender, uh, 32 of them to be exact, and an enchanted diamond. I've got tons of those, so I'm not worried, but we're going to have to farm up a lot of these uh, uh, ender pearls. We're going to have to make the enchanted form, as you can see here. That's why I've been buying the blaze powder to kind of have uh, to be up on that so that when we get to this, we can do it. I think we needed, uh, I think it was like 2,500 uh, blaze powder, I think. Uh, I don't know the math off the top of my head, but that's uh, what... 64 per eye yeah so probably 2400 or so give or take uh but that's uh that's the end <laughs> i'm gonna call it there uh and uh what we'll do is i'm gonna farm up some more stuff in there and uh next video when this new mayor gets elected is uh going to be uh crystal hollows and then uh from there we will uh We'll uh, see where we progress. Uh, I'd like to get uh, in Crystal Hollows the uh, there's a gauntlet you can get that's a really nice mining item, uh, and I need to get a titanium pickaxe. And so there's a lot of work that we have to do to get to that point. But uh, I like mining. That's my favorite part about this game. I don't know. <laughs> the adventure stuff is not as is adventuring. And it's not as cool for me. Uh, I just like mining. So the Crystal Hollows is probably my favorite zone so far. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.